Well, if you can't tell by the background, guys, we are down here in Chicago on the famous Navy Pier. And although Navy Pier is known as one of the best shoreline perch fishing in Chicago for decades, today we are out here catching giant lake trout. Mitch, what do you got on today? I got on a big lake trout here on a blade bait. Nice, nice. Been fighting them for about five minutes now. Hey, on, on bass tackle, right, on spinning gear, these fish fight amazing. Look at those big head shakes. Yeah, this is probably my biggest of the year. He's coming up. Hopefully he can fit in this uh, net for smallies. Oh, boy. Oh, little net job here. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> hey, you got to be careful of the gills here, but geez, buddy, beautiful fish, huh? Get it back in the water. There she goes. Like her on. Oh, baby. Looks like another beautiful laker. Oh, oh, pulling drag, guys. I think it's a good sized fish. Definitely a good sized fish. All right, here we come. Oh, look at that big air bubble. Look at that big air bubble. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Mitch. Big guys catching big fish in little nets. I think we might have to break out the ice rods, you know, since we have no ice here. And look at how that thing ate that bait. Let's get this fish unhooked and back into the water. They use this as a highway, so they're just running up and down these walls, and we're just pretty much vertical jigging. For the most part, we're looking at our active target, but um, we get to do it blind as well because we just marked a couple fish in this area, and we know they're in the area, so we can just really jig for them, and they'll hit a bait like that. Like I said, guys, 30-second break, and uh, we'd be on. This guy's smaller. A little smaller, it looks like, huh? Let it do some alligator spins for a second. All right, come here, baby. There we go. There you go, Mitch. Here's a lake trout for you. <laughs> we just caught this guy maybe eight pounds on this thin fisher by Berkeley. It's become one of my favorite baits for these lake trout down here on Lake Michigan. In this specific color, there's a ton of perch in this area, and this really mimics their forage. What they're going for on the daily is these little perch, and this gold one is getting it done. That's about three fish in what, 10 minutes? Oh, no. Hooked up, everyone. Hey, Mitch, what are you doing there? I uh, just got a big laker on. Well, it's funny, because I was just watching this uh, Lowrance active target here, and it looked like there was a big laker, and then I saw your bait, and then all of a sudden, you're set and hooked. Yep, that's how it works. <sighs> Ooh, skinny old fish right there, There Mitch. you go, yeah. What we're doing is we're looking at this very hard bottom and we're here downtown Chicago. They're just using this as a highway. We can watch them work it up about 10, 15 feet, and then they'll finally commit to it. But using that active target, we can really dial in our cadence, focus in on what they're doing and how they're reacting. Let's catch another. We are using bass gear, okay? If you guys think the rods are bending a little too much, they look like, you know, some ugly sticks bending in half. It's because we are using lighter gear. You know, we came out here thinking that we could catch smallmouth bass, uh, one of our favorite fish to catch, again, in the middle of winter, because this year's been a little warmer, so we have open water. But that's not all we can do. We can catch lake trout. We can catch coho salmon still. We can catch brown trout. We can catch steelhead. And we can catch big perch. So we're waiting for one of those other species to come along. So far, it's been a grease ball central party. Um, but hey, we're going to keep catching them if they want to keep biting. And let's see what else we can catch today. We're on, guys. We are on. Ah! We are hooked up. Guys, it doesn't get any better, Mitch. I mean, look at We got Navy Pier in the background, and I got a rod bent in half. It's great. It's awesome. Oh, this, this I think is a little bigger fish. Oh baby, those head shakes are giant. Oh my goodness, look at those head shakes, guys. This fish is big for sure. This, I, Mitch, I don't know if this fish is gonna fit in that net. Oh, hook popped out, hook popped out. Oh, it's in the side of it. Oh my gosh, it's in the side of it. <laughs> guys, PB Lake Trout right here. Look at the size of that thing. We're gonna get a measurement on this thing real quick, but definitely my biggest trout I ever caught. 80, I'm going 81 and a quarter. 
on the tail. Open. 74 and a half. All right, guys, let's get her back in the drink. All right, give it a second to get revived, and she is gone. Hey, covered in slime. What a day. What a day. Guys, it's never normally like this. Mitch, I don't want to build your hopes up, but we just filmed this whole show in an hour, guys, and that is just a testament to what kind of fishing Chicago has. It is unbelievable, um, you know, Put your stockings on, put the long johns on, get out here when no one else is. And what do you think, Mitch? Good times? Good times. Hey, man, thanks for being here with me. PB trout, handful of trout, bucket of slime, and a beautiful city in the background. Can't beat it. Hey, everyone, I'm Jim O'Neill with Midwest Outdoors. For Mitch Cohan, everyone, enjoy your time on the water.